I'm Glenn, better known as The Male Practitioner, and welcome to my first video that I decided to do for the blog site, okay, which is themalepractitioner.com, obviously, because you're there. Um, I thought, we've been promising this for ages, and I thought, well, uh, about time I did this one. Um, I was promising you a maths-related activity based on Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler's book, Room on the Broom. I'm not going to sit here and read the book to you. I think you're all pretty familiar with it. Um, but let me just run through some of the things that you'll need. Now this one is perfect for doing outdoors. Um, you could be a bit like me, obviously you'll need the book because you need to tell the story for the children. So you've got your literacy going on there as well. Perfect, love that one. Literacy and maths are sort of threaded through everything that you do every single day. I also have, and just because I'm pretty sad and you can see them dotted around here, I've also got the full set of toys as well, available from most bookshops or a certain big online retailer. I'm not going to mention them because it sounds like I'm advertising, but definitely you'll need that. Also, if you can get them, I managed to get this for a pound, I think, or was it two pound? can't remember. It was in one of the cheapy shops that you can get. Um, I've got one of these little plastic cauldrons. Again, you can get these online pretty cheap. eBay, other places like that can uh, sell them. Um, even garden centres actually have them as well. They're quite useful for putting plants and things in. Um, so that's your little plastic cauldron. Um, you'll need, as well, if you're going to be doing this um, with a group, you'll need either a dry white pen or I've got one of these permanent markers. Very handy. <laughs> what practitioner doesn't love these ones, especially when they're on sale? Um, and also you'll need a recipe card. Now, I've made this one up specifically for this video. Um, but it will be, I'll put it on the website for download as well, but it won't have the little picture of the witch because obviously that's copyright and I can't do that one. I just thought I'd do this one as an example. Okay. Now, um, the reason it's turning into math is because uh, at one point in the book, and I've helpfully marked the page for myself, um, it does say, uh, then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch did them well. And while she was sitting, she muttered a spell. Iggety, ziggety, zaggety, zoom. So what we're going to do with the children, especially after that bit is, okay, and you know, Outrose is truly magnificent broom. We know that bit. But uh, what you're going to do with the children is you're then going to create a spell. And a spell for what? Well, that's up to the children because what I've done at the top of this recipe card, so this is what it is, we're creating a recipe outdoors. This is why it's perfect for outdoors. Um, you can write in what it is. So say, for example, we're going to go, uh, the witch's recipe card for flying. So if the children suggest that, you write it at the top, okay? Now, the other bit is, what do we need for it? Well, you could pre-make these, or you could get the children to do it. So I've got some leaves. So we've got one, two, three leaves. So we'll write in number three. And we've got how many pine cones? We've got one, two, three, four, five. So we need to write in the number five. Okay. Oh dear, just the one conquer we need for this one. And then we've got quite a big number coming up. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven twigs. So we need seven twigs. So once you've decided on that, you send the children off to go and find them. So you could send one child to go and find the leaves, whatever. Decide on it yourselves. I'm not going to tell you how exactly to do it because you know your children better. So they go and find them all and they throw them into your cauldron, stir them up. And there you go. A simple, fun maths activity that can be done outdoors and all related to a very favourite story. So that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll come back to you with another one when I can think of something. Take care. Bye-bye.